Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can detect the tweezer top and tweezer bottom in PyScript. So first of all, let's get started with getting the inputs that we need to get the tweezer top. And if you are not sure about the tweezer top and tweezer bottom candlestick pattern, the basic concept is in tweezer top, the high prices of two candles are same. And in tweezer bottoms, the low prices of both candles are same. And now let's get started with the coding. So first of all, let's go ahead and get the input of pip tolerance. That is how much we do we want to tolerate the number of pips for or the number of gap because number of pips in this gap because it's very, very rare that the market would have same highs and lows of two consecutive candles. It's very rare. So to increase our chances of detecting the tweezer top and tweezer bottom, we need to give it some tolerance like this gap, this little gap here. And even we can minimize this to something around one or two pips. And then that way it will be able to detect this pattern as a tweezer bottom. But if we do not give this tolerance, then it will not detect this pattern at all. Next, let's go ahead and calculate the value of pips based on the ticks uh, instrument. So here we have given the same info dot tick multiplied by 10 and then tolerance is going to be calculated in terms of pips based on this calculation, this formula. Now let's go ahead and check that if both A and B are like both highs, either highs or lows are equal and they have tolerance that is within this range that we provide in terms of number of pips. So we are giving, creating a function is approximately equal. That is A, B, and then we have the tolerance. So we are giving A minus B, that in math.abs, and then it should be less than the tolerance. The number of pips in this, like the low of this candle minus low of this candle, whatever the value of this will come out, sh should be, its magnitude should be less than the number of pips in the tolerance. Now let's go ahead and detect the tweezer top and tweezer bottom candlestick patterns. And here we are giving it the function of is approximately equal. So tweezer top is going to be is approximately equal high and high of one. So the high of the latest candle and then high of the previous candle and then the tolerance. So this condition, when this condition is true and the close should be less than open and close of one should be greater than open. So this would say, uh, this means that the latest candle should be bearish and the previous candle should be bullish. So the candle before the latest should be bearish. And in case of tweezer bottom, we want the lows to be same. So we are gonna use is approximately equal function. And then we're gonna give it the low of this candle, latest candle and then the low of previous candle. And we want, uh, we're going to give it the tolerance that is our in based on our input and it's going to calculate that the gap between these lows of these two candles should be below the tolerance level and then again the latest candle should be bullish and the candle before the latest that is the second last candle should be bearish in case of tweezer bottom now once we have successfully detected the tweezer top and tweezer bottom we can go ahead and plot them on the chart and here you can see i have given the plot shape function and then the series is going to be tweezer top when it's true it will plot a tweezer top label above the bar and its color will be red and its text will say tweezer top similarly we have given this plot the series of tweezer bottom so whenever this condition is true we want to plot the tweezer bottom and its location will be below bar and its color will be green and here we can see that the text will be tweezer bottom now we can add this to a chart and then we can analyze if it's detecting any tweezer tops and tweezer bottoms so you can see that here we are able to see this detection of tweezer top and tweezer bottom now let's understand the gap that i was talking about so you can see there is a little gap and inside here we have given it number of pips equal to one if we do this equal to zero then this will not be detected because here you can see the label has disappeared because this is not exactly equal so in order to 
detect the valid patterns, we have to give a little bit of tolerance in terms of pips. Usually you can set it to one pip and then a patterns like these will be detected. Or you can, if you want to increase this, let's say if you increase this to 10, then a lot of patterns will be detected, but now they have become inaccurate. So we want the, uh, based on your y-axis values, you want this pip to be uh, equal to whatever minimum pips you want to give it in the gap. So I'm just gonna set it to one, or you can also set it to, let's say 0 0.1. So right now you can see we are not able to set it as float. So we can go to the inputs and here we can change it to float. And now once we update it, you'll be able to give this value in terms of decimals as well. So 0 0.1 and then I can hit OK. And now this both have disappeared because this is greater than 0 0.1 pip in this y axis. So this is how you can detect the tweezer tops and tweezer bottoms based on the custom gaps defined by the user inputs. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Thank you.